when you see this, there's a theorem that supports this. So that theorem is what I remind you of. Now, what you just remember is that you see that this is the center. This O, each time you see it in circle, it just shows you that it's talking about center. And in that case, this line is the diameter because the diameter divides the circle equally from the center. So in that case, just remember the theorem that states that when you have a diameter and this diameter forms angle at the circumference, remember this part is the circumference, that that angle it forms at the circumference is always 90 degrees. So if this is true, it means that this is 90 degrees. And because this is 90, did you observe anything again that this triangle inside has a mark on both sides? And whenever you have a triangle with two marks on the two sides, it reminds you of isosceles. In that case, the base angles of that those lines are the same. So if here is X, it means that here should also be X. So to find the value of X, remember that this part is already the 90. So the remaining two parts will be summed to give you 90. And if these two parts will give you 90, when you add this, it gives you 2x is 90. So to get x, divide by 2. And when you do this, we have x is 45 degrees. And that is option C.